Now, this afternoon, before the Eurogroup meeting, there was another breakthrough. Prior to the Eurogroup meeting, I met with Mr. Moscovici, whom I want to thank for his highly positive role in this process. Mr. Moscovici presented me with a draft communique that I was perfectly happy to sign there and then, as it was. It was a communique that recognized Greece's humanitarian crisis and spoke of an extension or the need for the Greek government to apply for an extension of the current loan agreement and that this would take the form of a, or lead to a four-month intermediate program as a transitional stage to a new contract for growth for Greece that would be de deliberated and concluded during that four-month period. On the basis of this understanding between us and the Commission, we were more than happy, and we remain more than happy, to apply for the loan agreement to be extended. And beyond that, we, our side, the Greek government, was prepared in order to expedite the process and to make agreement faster, more efficient, and actually fairer. We are prepared to offer a number of conditionalities, which we thought our partners required for the purposes of building trust between our side and them. Our only condition for doing this that we required of the other side was that we should not be asked to impose measures that are clearly recessionary and clearly uncalled for in the state of humanitarian crisis we have in Greece. For instance, no cuts in the low pensions, the lowest of the pensions, no VAT hikes during this period, especially in regions of Greece that in the beginning of the summer require um, all the assistance that they can get in order to boost tourism, a great earner, a great industry for the Greek economy. Unfortunately, that splendid document that I was prepared to sign there and then, without a second thought, was withdrawn minutes before the Eurogroup began by the Eurogroup's president. And it was replaced with another document that took us not just back to last Thursday, but indeed it took us back to last Wednesday. When, let me remind you, last Wednesday we were pressurized to sign up to an extension, not of the loan agreement, but of the program itself, the current program. Being offered in exchange, as you heard Mr. Dyserbloom say, uh, the nebulous two-word phrase, some flexibility in that program. On the different drafts you mentioned, there have been many drafts and many talks uh, over the last couple of days, uh, certainly also after the last Eurogroup, sometimes on words, sometimes on content, sometimes proposals came from the Commission, sometimes they came from my secretariat, uh, sometimes they came from the Greeks. Uh, the bottom line is that we didn't uh, find an agreement on these kind of texts at this point, uh, and I don't think that it's very useful to try and redraft uh, such a political sensitive uh, statement in a large group, uh, uh, which is called the Eurogroup. Uh, so we've gone back to the basis. The basis is we stand ready to work with the Greeks. We think that the best way forward is to get an extension of the current program. Uh, once we have that, which would require, of course, the uh, commitments also of the Greeks that they are serious about this, and once we have that, we can then talk, or they can talk with the institutions on the flexibility, how to change it, or change, ch make changes within the program. That still is our preferred option. Uh, whether that is in a statement at the end of the day is not really that important. That's where we are, and that's what we think should be the next move.